Hey everyone, welcome back. In this section, we're finally going to start coding. But first, we need to install some stuff to set up our development environments, and then we're going to need to create a basic AngularJS app. If you already have an Angular app set up, you might want to skip ahead to the next lecture. Otherwise, keep following along to learn how to set up the app from scratch. So first of all, we're going to need an IDE. You can use any editor that you want, but for these lectures, I'm going to be using brackets. Brackets is a free text editor with great support for web development languages, and it works on all the major operating systems. So I definitely recommend that you head over to brackets.io and check it out. We're also going to need to install node.js. Specifically, we need Node's Package Manager, NPM, which comes bundled with Node. We're going to use this to install other libraries and dependencies that we need for our project. Finally, we're going to need Bower. Bower is another package manager similar to NPM, but it's been optimized for front-end applications. We'll be installing Bower using NPM, so once you've downloaded and installed Node.js, open up your IDE and terminal and let's begin. So here we've got brackets and an empty project directory. So let's start by installing Node. Open up terminal, cd into your project directory and write npm in it. This is going to ask us a bunch of questions, but we just need to accept the defaults for now, since it won't affect our project. Head on back over to brackets, and here you see that a package.json file has been created, which contains some information about our app. Now head back over to terminal, and next we're going to install Bower by writing npm install Bower save dev. Give it some time to download. The save parameter is there so that the package name will appear in your list of dependencies. The dev parameter is there so it specifies to save it in the dev dependencies list. Head back on over to brackets and now we can see that in the dev dependencies Bower has been added. Great, so now we can start on setting up a basic Angular app. Create a new directory and call it app. Head back on over to terminal, cd into the new app folder and write Bower in it. Similar to how npm creates a package.json file for us, initializing Bower will create a Bower.json file for us which also contains a number of dependencies and info about our app. So here we can just accept the defaults. Cool, head back to brackets. And if we open up our app directory, we should now find our power.json file. Great. Now the last thing we're going to need to install for now is Angular itself, which we'll be do doing using Bower. So back to terminal, and this time write Bower install Angular dash dash save. In this case, we want Angular to be saved in our normal dependencies not just in our dev dependencies, since it would need to be deployed with the rest of our app. Great, now head back on over to brackets, and here we see that a bower components directory has been added, and bower.json now includes Angular. So in bower components, we should also find Angular. Cool. Now let's start by creating a super simple Angular app. Let's start by creating an index.html file. We're also going to need a JS folder, and in here we'll create a file called app.js. Let's start with the index file. So, just standard HTML for now. Create the HTML body tag. Heads. Give the page a title. Call it testing Angular JS. And now we're going to need to include two scripts. First of all, we're going to need 
Angular, which is in our components, our components Angular and Angular.js. And second of all, we're going to need our own script file, our own app app.js. Great. And one last thing, let's add the body. And over here we can write testing angular. Let's just see if this works. We can click on this button to preview our app. And it looks like the body tag and the title tag are working fine. Now let's add angular into the mix. Open back the brackets, open up app.js, and let's write a simple Angular app. Var testing Angular app is equal to Angular dot module testing Angular app. So I won't be explaining the Angular specific syntax over here since you should already know the basics. But anything relating to testing, I'll get into. Now let's add a controller to our app. Call it testing Angular control. And pass in root scope and regular scope so to start off let's just make that title that we saw before come from the javascript from our angular app so let's just do scope.title is equal to testing angular js applications Type back to index.html and change this to title. Now, if we refresh Chrome, oh, it seems I forgot to actually add Angular to our app. So go back here in the HTML, we write ng app is equal to testing angular app and to the body we add ng controller is equal to testing angular controller save refresh and this should work cool so in this lecture we installed and set up node.js our and set up a basic AngularJS app. From here on out, we're going to keep adding features to our app and testing as we go along.